Hi everyone. Today we'll be taking a look at how to prepare a heme-containing protein for docking studies using Mo software, which is Molecular Operating Environment from Chemical Computing Group out of Montreal, Canada. I am Sam Shaver. I have been working with Mo for nearly 20 years. I've had a great deal of success using Mo to generate SAR for various series of metalloenzymes. Most recently, I worked on generating a lead series in three different enzyme systems using Mo, with two of these series going into the clinic. I am in no way affiliated with CCG. These instructional videos are just that, to help people learn how to effectively use the software. So let's get started. You'll see that the main Mo window is in full screen, and everything we will do will derive from this Mo window. As I said, we're going to be preparing a heme-containing protein for docking studies. For this demonstration, we'll be using a cytochrome P450 enzyme, uh, specifically a CYP51 protein from T. cruzi, and the compound we'll be using will be a tetrazole-containing derivative VT1161. I have already downloaded the appropriate PDB file from the RCSB protein databank, so let's load this PDB file into the Mo window and get started. So let's go over to File, Open, and search for the PDB file. In this case, it's 5AJR PDB, and we want to open as PDB, and the action is load PDB file. Those are both set at the bottom of the window. Let's click OK. Load PDB file window opens and close. click OK. Now you'll see that the protein has loaded in a ribbon structure. You can use your mouse and rotate the structure around, uh, make it appear uh, however you want, set the orientation. I prefer to set the orientation such that the cysteine here is at the bottom of the screen, the ligand is pointing towards the top of the screen. So let's zoom right in here for a bit. And what we want to do is first uh, make sure that all of the hybridizations are set properly, all the ionizations are set properly, and to make sure there are no uh, chain breaks within the protein. Mo has helped us out with this particular issue and created a, a button called Quick Prep. You'll find that in the top right side of the screen. So let's click on Quick Prep. Uh, all of these defaults are to set up and fix the, the chain breaks and fix the, the hybridizations and ionizations. Let's go ahead and click OK and let it get started. You'll note in the top left part of the screen, uh, the system actually is telling you what it's doing. Uh, you can follow along with the progress of this. Uh, the quick prep procedure itself will take between 30 and 45 seconds. So while we wait for that, let's take a look at a couple of other features of the Mo window. You see in the top right an SVL button that stands for Scientific Vector Language. If you click on that, uh, you can actually watch what the the software is doing once it's actually doing something that's that's not kind of magic. Uh, you'll see an SEQ button that stands for Sequence. If you click on that, that will open up a window that shows the totality of the amino acids within the protein and how many chains are there. At the bottom right of the screen you'll see two buttons that say atoms and ribbon. If you click on the atoms button it allows you to change colors, how big the atoms are. If you click on the ribbons button it is very much the same. You can change the way the the ribbons appear, change the actual presentation of the ribbon. So if you're unhappy with the red, blue, white, yellow color scheme, you can certainly create a monochrome uh, or whatever you want. Uh, there are some buttons on the far right side. You can uh, explore these at your leisure. Add hydrogens, take away hydrogens. You can add surfaces. Uh, you can show backbones and side chains, hide backbones and side chains, uh, whatever you know, your heart desires. Uh, we should just about be finished with the um, the quick prep part of this now. Um, and as soon as we get finished with that, we'll go in and start preparing the uh, the heme for docking. And uh, we're finished now. Uh, everything should be very happy. Uh, the only thing you've got left to do now is uh, you've got 
two, co two covalent bonds from the iron to the nitrogen and from the iron to the cysteine sulfur. Uh, you can't have these present and actually do an effective docking. Uh, this is a remnant of the uh, crystal structure. So let's go in and we're going to have to remove these two bonds. So if you click on the, the covalent bond between the iron and the nitrogen, you'll see the terminal atoms show up in pink. Let's go over to the builder, which you can find under edit, build, molecule, and click on the red X, which is uh, breaking the bond. So we'll click on that. And let's go down between the cysteine and the iron, repeat the process, click on the red X. And you'll see now instead of covalent bonds, you've got a dotted blue line, which denotes uh, there to be a hydrogen bond interaction. If you'll rotate uh, the protein just a bit, you'll see that the double bonds within the tetrazole aren't exactly where they should be. You've got four bonds to this nitrogen, to the one nitrogen, that's not right. So let's click on that carbon to the one nitrogen bond, change that to a single bond, and click on the bond between the four nitrogen and the carbon, turn that into a double bond. So now the, the double bonds are uh, set up appropriately. We don't need this proton here. So click on that proton and delete. Uh, so you'll see now that everything looks pretty nice. Uh, to be sure, let's go up to window and atom manager. And that opens a window that is a description of every atom uh, and every residue that's within uh, the protein shown on the screen. The ligand should be a completely neutral uh, entity. And if you look at the, uh, the atoms here, you'll see there is a positively charged nitrogen. If you double click it, it will show up in pink on the screen. And that is indeed the one nitrogen. Uh, we want to change that ionization back to uh, neutral. So let's click on zero and apply. So the ionization of that is now neutral. Uh, scroll up to look at the heme. You'll see that there are a couple of negative charges on oxygens. Both of these are carboxylates and they, they, that's perfectly fine. Let's click on the iron um, entry and check out what's going on there. The geometry is D2SP3, which is exactly correct. If it weren't correct, you could actually click on the the drop down box and change it to whatever needed to be. The ionization for the iron needs to be a plus two. We know that that is what is showing up in the active site in this particular enzyme. So let's enter two as the ionization and apply. And so now you've got a protein that's perfectly happy, ready to be docked. So that's all for this particular video. If you liked it, let me know and like this video. If you have any questions or comments, just post to this video and I will get back to you. If you're having issues or challenges using Mo at your uh, workplace, feel free to contact me at the email in the bottom right of this screen. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.